Hello everyone and welcome back to our Tableau desktop training videos provided by Tableau Coach. This is a, a third video in our series and we're going to cover, start with question number six in the sample questions that Tableau provides to help you prepare for your exam. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. So question number six, if 2013 sales numbers were expected to increase by 50% in the following year, what would be the total estimated sales for the consumer segment in 2014? So the first thing we need to do is get our customer segment and our sales numbers. Um, that populates it for us really fast. The next thing we need to do is, it, the question is asking us for 2013 sales. So what we need to do is order date on filter years and filter on 2013. There we go. We now need to create a calculated field that will show us our uh, sales numbers that are expected to increase. So let's call the sales 2014 predicted. The calculation is sales multiply by 1.5. And we say, okay, we go ahead and add that next to our sales. And you can quickly see that for the consumer customer segment, the predicted sales is 816,999, which gives us answer B for number six. Going on to question number seven, in which region do all product categories fall beneath the overall profit average? So what we need to do there is first we drag the product subcategories Um, then we need to find, um, we need to go and drop in the, what do you call it, uh, profit. Profit, and then under analysis, we need to find the total, grand total of the profits. Now, the question is asking not for the sum, but we need to actually look at the average. So we go to totals, total all using average. So the number we need to focus on is 77,202. So you can either write that down or remember it or start a new tab and make sure you keep that number, 77,202. What we need to do now is add in our region into the view. And when you click show me and create bar charts, you can get this nice visual of all of the profits. If you go into analytics and add a constant line of 77,202, and hit enter, you'll actually be able to look at the regions and see that in the south region, all of the product subcategories fall below the average overall profit. And that gives us question number seven. The answer is D, south. Moving on to question number eight. The question is, which product subcategory has shipping cost to sales ratio of above 3%? So what do we need to, what do we need to find? We need to find, uh, we need a shipping cost to sales ratio calculation. So let's go ahead and create that calculated field. Shipping cost over sales. So the way we're going to calculate it is sum of shipping cost and we're going to divide that by sum of sales. The calculation is valid. We're going to go ahead and say okay. So now what we need to do is we need the product subcategories and um, we need to drag this new calculated field into there. So one thing we want to do is sort our product subcategories by our shipping cost and we can also format our shipping cost to make it a percentage. And let's go quickly go back to that question. Which product subcategory has a shipping cost to sales ratio of above 3%? Now, if we take a look here, the only product subcategory that has above 3% is paper, which has 3.49%. So that gives us the answer to question number eight. Let's go ahead and go to question number nine. 
So question number nine is asking us to find the customer with the lowest overall profit. What is his or her profit ratio? So we need the customer name. We're going to start with customer name. We see that. Now we need to pull in the profit. And we need to sort. We need to sort by ascending order. And we're going to use profit. So we can see that Dean Solomon, he has the lowest profit overall. So we need to find his overall profit ratio. How do we calculate the profit ratio? We create a new calculated field, call it profit ratio, and we're going to take the sum of profit, and we're going to divide that by the sum of sales. We forgot to close the parentheses. Here we go. Profit ratio. Now what we could go ahead and do is double click the profit ratio and we actually again need to, since it's a ratio, we need to format this into a percentage. Oh, the percentage. Sorry, I'm formatting the wrong thing. Profit ratio into a percentage. And um, let me just undo the previous step and show you that the profit ratio, we change that into percentage and it gives us negative 771.39%, which gives us answer D.